What's up guys? It's your boy Faraz, aka Ferris, back with another video. So you find your way back home. Today we're gonna be doing a little review with a side-by-side -side comparison with the Yeezy Boost 350 reflective pair and non-reflective pair. I know I'm a little late to the game with this one, but I guess it's better late than never, to be honest. <laughs> to give you guys a little background on the Yeezy Boost 350 Reflective, these were part of a static drop that was released a week after Christmas. So this pair released on December 26th as the first static drop as a Yeezy Supply exclusive. So you couldn't get it anywhere else other than Yeezy Supply. So obviously the pair was pretty much hard to get in terms of the amount of pairs that were available. So these were more of the exclusive Yeezy Boost 350 that it came out. Then Adidas dropped the non-reflective pairs the very next day, which was December 27th. And obviously it was available in store plus online, shopsizeusa.com. You already know, always plugging. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the last of the pack was the Yeezy 700 V2 static colorway. And this shoe dropped December 29th of 2018. So pretty much the last easy of 2018. Go ahead and check out that last video. I actually did a review on that. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Shameless plug. Boy! Now to get into the shoe, obviously, because that's what you clicked on the video for. And if I didn't show you the shoe, that would mean I'd be clickbaiting you, which means, I don't know, what is life? Don't do it. Oh, 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 no. Straight up jumping into the upper of the sole. You can tell just by looking at it that you have your standard V2 prime knit. However, from what it looks like, the entire upper is actually woven with 3M threads. So this whole top part of the shoe, discluding the stripe. So this is basically the primary difference when it comes to the Yeezy Boost non-reflective and the Yeezy Boost all reflective pair. When it comes to the non-reflective pair, the only part that's really different and uh, has to be M are the shoelaces. When the shoes are placed side by side, you guys are able to tell. You can kind of tell that the gray on the non-reflective pair is actually darker than the gray on the all-reflective pair. That is because of the fact that 3M thread that they used for the all-reflective pairs is actually a lighter shade of gray. On the non-reflective pair, the prime knit that they used was a darker shade of gray. I personally think that the the non-reflective pairs are a bit more cooler just because the gray is darker and can give you really the contrast for the whole upper. Well, I mean, this is definitely cool and all, but in reality, when are you gonna be able to really show that this is 3M, you know what I mean? I mean, maybe, maybe you guys can come up with a way where you're just walking around and all of a sudden you got lights flashing at you. If you, if you were a celebrity, this shoe would be dope as hell. I'm not even lie to you. You'd be walking around all night long down the street. People would be taking pictures, be blinding their cameras and stuff. So this would definitely be a perk for someone as a celebrity. I'm not a celebrity. I'm not. I wish I was. The all reflective pairs are actually 3M also. So you pretty much have that all that going on while you have a flash on. I'm gonna show you guys in a bit what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put these side by side with the flash on and you'll be able to see exactly what the differences are when the flash is on. Now the stripe that's on the side of the reflective pair is actually the same plastic mesh stripe that's on the non-reflective pair. When you go to the back, the back would pretty much be the same exact thing. I personally think there's nothing different of it. The only difference that you guys will be able to tell is the darker shade of gray on the non-reflective pair, while you have the lighter shade of gray, which is 3M thread, on the reflective pair. Other than that, the pull tab color is the same thing. As you guys can tell, it's a true white on both shoes. The bottom sole is actually the same color of a, of a semi-translucent white. On both shoes, the three stripes branding that's on the heel tab of the shoe, both are 3M material. And on the inside of the shoe, you guys are able to tell that you have the Adidas branding on the insole uh, alongside with the Adidas sign, and you have the Yeezy branding right next to that. So like I've said before, when it comes to comfort of any of the Yeezy 350s, I personally think it's very comfortable. 
and I know many of you guys think the same thing. Now when it comes to the fitment of the shoe, I've discussed this in all my Yeezy reviews. I'd always recommend going a half size up just because the way that the Yeezys run, they run a bit small, so if you go a half size up, you'll be able to definitely fit in your uh, in your size. For example, I go for a 10 and a half, and I'm originally a 10, so a 10 and a half will fit me perfectly. I want you guys to go ahead and leave a comment on this video, what you guys think is definitely a better shoe. So now that pretty much wraps up today's video. This is the review for the Yeezy Boost 350 Reflective colorway. Now I'd like to know your thoughts on the static reflectives and, and whether you think that they're worth more than the non-reflectives. Go ahead, comment down below. I wanna know your thoughts. Alright guys, I have the semi-frozen video pulled up. I'm going to be scrolling randomly through the comments and may the best man win. Alright guys, I'm in the comment section right now. We got about 195 comments to scroll through. We're going to be going at random. So I'm going to stop anywhere at a random time while scrolling up and down and miscellaneously. Up and down, up and down, up, <laughs> down, up, one more time. Stop. Right there. There you go. There you go, guys. Sneakerhead1509. Sneakerhead1509. I'm going to be contacting you soon, and uh, I'm going to get your details so then we can talk. There it is, guys. The Yeezy giveaway winner has been picked. I hope none of you guys are upset. Believe me, I did it the fairest way possible. I really want you guys to know that I'm grateful for you guys. We're sitting at almost 300 subs right now, and it's only been like two months, so it's just humongous great support from you guys there's gonna be many more giveaways in the future you know and depending on you guys the way you guys support me is literally what I can give back to you so if you guys support me greatly I can definitely do more giveaways if you guys eh, then it's gonna be you know it'll be tough but I'll make it work I'll make it work always for you guys you know crazy to think about that uh, I have 300 of you guys watching my videos which is kind of cool in my opinion so I mean thinking about it about two months ago I didn't think that if I ever would have started YouTube that I'd even get this far you know so it's definitely a huge milestone for me it may not seem like a lot to you guys but for me believe me this is something that I truly feel like is personally awesome you know just to kind of create a fan base anyways guys thank you guys for tuning into this video I really appreciate it go ahead like I said before leave a like go ahead and leave a comment or two in the comment section below what you think I should do next and make sure you go ahead and sub to the channel to help your boy out like your boy always says stay positive stay motivated and stay chill boys and girls